you know, I don't know why it's so weird when you haven't done a certain type of video in a while and then you do it again. It always just feels weird, but I wanted to do this video to kind of let you guys know more or less why I haven't actually done a vlog in a while. It's something that I've been wanting to do for basically the past year and I kind of just do it every now and again and the last one I did was almost like two months ago and a lot of you guys are like, why? Why haven't you done a vlog in a while? Well, this video kind of explains that. So this isn't gonna be like a full day vlog kind of thing. It's more or less just going to be, you know, very talkative right now. But I do wanna let you guys know that if you guys didn't know that I moved, obviously the background and stuff have changed. This is my background. I just got some stuff on here. Um, but the whole new setup, the whole new apartment and everything, this is basically it. Uh, aside from my bedroom that is in there, which is literally the most boring part of the room because this, is really the only place where I stay. But why haven't I done vlogs in a while? Well, I've been working on a lot of things. I've been really busy. I've had some unexpected events happen in the past few weeks and everything's been kind of prolonging me wanting to do it. But I do wanna let you guys know that in the next couple of weeks, I want to actually do consistently doing some more vlogs because I think one of my problems that I ran into before was I wasn't doing them consistently. Like I didn't have any kind of consistency with this. I didn't really have a, a mindset plan. Like, you know, I'd be like, you know, maybe I'll vlog this, maybe I won't, maybe I'll do this event, maybe I won't. And then whenever it just comes down to it, I don't do it because, you know, one of the things with vlogging is like, I'm still a person, like I still want to experience life and things. And whenever you bring the camera into it, it, honestly kind of just changes things like you're carrying the camera around everybody sees you with this camera and it, it just changes things a little bit now i like doing it for events and things like that because i like documenting the important things in my life but i don't think i had any kind of consistency with it and with me thinking that way i always was trying to look for some big event or something to record like i wasn't kind of just actually vlogging my life and you know, with a video like this, this is kind of a vlog. You know, I'm doing, it's a totally different format and everything. And this is kind of, not really what I wanna do, but more or less, I want to do my best to not be so strict on myself. Because one of the problems that I have is I see all these other people doing vlogs, all these other people doing YouTube and stuff. And I'm like, my vlogs suck compared to that. My vlogs are terrible compared to that. And I, I'm kind of a perfectionist, even though there's no possible way, no possible way that I could do nearly as good as these other people on YouTube. Nobody in particular, it's not any other military YouTubers, it's basically like real actual vloggers. You know, you watch like, I talk about Casey Neistat vlogs. Uh, I love Peter McKinnon. They're like on another planet compared to a lot of other YouTubers as far as vlogging goes. You watch those videos, I watch those videos, and whenever I edit a video, I'm like, crap, this freaking sucks. Like I literally, you know, the last two vlogs that I've done, the last two vlogs that I've done, y'all haven't seen because I've recorded them and not edited them because I didn't think they were good enough. Um, so that is a problem that I'm going to have to work forward, work past, whatever, uh, as a YouTuber, like, it's just, you know, you know, my push for perfection is just keeping me back. It's holding me back, you know. Perfection is holding me back because I'm not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna get any better unless I actually do something. So what I wanna do is not this week, maybe not next week, we'll see about that, uh, but definitely, 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 definitely sometime soon, I want to do some sort of kind of like a little weekly vlog that's not my normal talking head vlog that I normally just shoot right here. You know, sometimes it'll be out and about vlog, sometimes it might just be something like this in my apartment with maybe a few clips of being outside, but I want to do something that pushes myself uh, to actually get better at this stuff. Now, one of the other major reasons why I haven't done vlogs is because in my normal videos and stuff, I can edit that in this one software program called Sony Vegas. The one that I had the vlogs in, is called Premiere Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro. And that program has been jacking up for me, like it has just been screwing up uh, on my desktop computer, the one that I edit all my stuff on, and then my laptop, which is the one that I use for software development work when I go into work. My laptop is the only one that actually works with Premiere Pro, and then whenever you render it, it's just super, super slow. So I just gotta figure out something with this computer, um, and once that gets done, basically, 
I will be able to do this stuff because with editing on the laptop is just like, I don't want to edit on the laptop. I want to edit on this computer. That's what I want to do. So that's that's definitely another thing that's been holding me back from this. And it's just been, you know, being super busy and then not taking the time to figure that out and then not thinking I had the time to edit videos, which I do have more time now, which I will talk to you guys about that in the future because I've been working on a lot of things. Some things have changed in my life. Obviously, I've moved, changed apartments and stuff, but uh, some stuff has changed in my life, which I will let you guys know probably in the next vlog. So stay tuned. But I mean, I've got a lot of stuff coming out. Um, I do have apparel stuff coming soon. You guys may have saw this. I have some hats or whatever with a little, if you ever see me wearing this, something like this, with basically this logo on it. So that stuff has been in the works. When is it gonna come out? When are you gonna release it? And I don't know yet. It's going to be sometime soon. Um, I wanted this all to be around about 100,000 subscribers was when I wanted to release kind of like an apparel line. So like this with the logo, you can see the MW, Matt Ward. I don't know how well you can see that, but with the flag on the side, I'm trying to make it you know, pretty cool, pretty, you know, stuff that, you know, obviously I would want to wear and stuff that you would want to wear. So I'm trying to, if I'm going to do this, I wanted to do it right. So don't rush me. I'm trying my best. You know, my whole perfectionist thing is I'm going to try to keep that back a little bit. And if things don't go the way I have planned because I have this perfectionist mindset of how I want things to look, I want things to be, uh, I will do my best not to let that hold me back and hold you guys back from getting literally some awesome hats because I really like this hat. It's it's pretty sweet in my opinion. One more thing that I'm super excited about. I don't know if you guys know anything about army coins, military coins or whatever, but if you look at this one right here, focus, what does that say? So I think I might be one of the only second lieutenants in the army to actually have like a challenge coin. If you guys don't know what a challenge coin is, Maybe I can make a video on it in the future, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this. This is something that I will obviously kind of want to give out to some people in the military, and then as well as, you know, give it out to some of you guys. I've got some special plans for this puppy in the future, so uh, I will let you guys know more on this, like how you could get your hands on one if you wanted one, because this... That was slightly embarrassing, but this thing, I am like so pumped. I mean, think about it. Second lieutenants in the army, how many of those, how many people out there are second lieutenants in the army that have a coin? What I plan on doing is having a second lieutenant coin. When I go first lieutenant, I have a first lieutenant, then have a captain, and then whatever other ranks I reach in the military having that, uh, I also have them numbered. So this is, you definitely can't see that, but I have it numbered one through, how many did I make? I'm not gonna tell you guys. But I think this suffices for a little vlogish video, just an informative thing for me to let you guys know what the heck is going on. If you're the kind of person that is crazy enough to actually like my vlogs or like my videos where I'm not just talking about straight army stuff all the time, then this video is for you. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will be back with you guys at some point in the future with more vlogs. I'm super excited about it. I mean, I have my drone over here. I mean, this drone over here has basically just been collecting dust. Oh gosh, don't fall. So I'm super pumped for what I have planned for this channel in the future. Also, I do wanna throw in here, which I probably should have mentioned it before in the video. I'm doing some videos with actual army recruiters and I'm recording that video on the 13th. So that means that when this video goes up, there'll be a few days between when this video goes up and when we actually shoot and record that video. So if you have any like questions or comments or concerns or whatever for an actual army recruiter that I will be doing a video with that we will be answering your questions, you can either leave a comment here or go to my Instagram post because I did a post on Instagram for specifically this reason. But that's that's honestly really cool. Like that's one of the things I've been wanting to do for a while is do a video with an army recruiter and have them answer some of the questions that I can't obviously answer and actually see what life is like as a recruiter and like see, you know, a day in the life of the recruiter. What what kind of stuff do they encounter? Like, you know, when you go into a recruiter's office, what does a recruiter want you to ask them to make sure that you know you're kind of getting uh, the most information out of them? So there's a lot of things I wanna cover with them, but if you have anything that you are curious about, seriously, just, comment down below, head over to my Instagram, leave a comment on my recent post, which, you know, it'll be pretty obvious. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking 
day and I will see you later.